I'm expecting some great things. Wait, let me bring this back. Oh, okay. For this sleepover, he invited Shah, Boo Boo, okay. and Billy. Let's check again in case we don't forget any guests. Man, there's Shaw there's your creepy puppet. Bozu and. <laughs> oh God! Sorry. No. Oh, jeez. This is a totally different intro. It's so cute. Oh, it's for hey GCI. Hey guys, That's and why. welcome to G. I, I have not, like, seen any really GT live videos, so that's probably why that intro was so unfamiliar. So I have not heard anything about the Walton Files. This is a blind reaction. Yes. I I don't know. Like nothing. Nothing at all. So maybe you guys can say like a a small gist about them. Are, are they games? Is it a movie, TV show, YouTube creation? Like I don't know. GT not live where the videos might not be live right now, but they are still entertaining. So, one thing that I wanted to cover on the channel is Five Nights at Freddy's story spinoffs. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it feels kind of cool to react to Matt Pat's reaction because his picture is like top left or whatever. At least it was for the beginning of this video. And I feel like I'm right there next to him reacting, so it's kind of cool. <laughs> Even though I'm not. <laughs> I guess, for lack of a better term. So, since the success of Five Nights at Freddy's, you've seen a lot of artists, creators, get inspired by these stories, right? You know, the, the childhood fear of finding a, an abandoned pizza restaurant or being attacked by these like child-friendly robots. Uh, obviously us theorists over the years have been trying to piece together the lore of this series. You have uh, dozens upon dozens oh, bye, of Tobias. budding indie game creators taking inspiration from Scott Cawthon's story and making their own versions oh, of I'm sure. animatronic horror theme restaurants or run through the abandoned restaurant thing uh, style games, which obviously we have played a lot of those on the channel over the years. Um, but So this is Matt Pat explaining, obviously, but I'm just going to go to the comments because you guys are explaining a little bit. So Silly Me says the Walton Files are one of the early but recent kind of new genre videos called analog horror or haunted VHS tapes. Such as the other FNAF VHS tapes, which other v uh, which you guys also said. Um, Battington? Battington tapes? I don't even know what those are. And Local 58. No idea. Alright, so they're similar to the FNAF VHS tapes then. Got it. Very inspired by FNAF then. One area, and, and obviously fan artists, you know, uh, the Five Nights at Freddy's subreddit is filled with just so many amazing artists that have taken, like, the characters, the stories, uh, you know, the narratives and themes, and just spun them off into their own amazing individual artworks in their own styles. It's, it's incredible. I don't know if you've ever taken the opportunity to look through the Five Nights at Freddy's uh, subreddit or the Freddit, as they call it. Nope. Uh, as the hip kids call it, the Freddit. Um, but it's just filled with all this amazing artwork in all these different styles, all inspired by different moments of yeah, the Five I Nights at Freddy's story. Yeah, I love seeing the artwork. Very cool. But um, one thing that we've never really touched, either here or on the Theorist channel, is the, the other stories that other narrative storytellers have spun off of this. And what I mean by that is there's a huge wealth of 3D animators. There's a huge wealth of, uh, you know, animation artists uh, and, and just designers in general who want to tell their own stories about creepy restaurants, you know, uh, people who work at the restaurants getting murdered, whatever, Jeez. restaurants with a mysterious backstory. And if you look around on YouTube, there's a, a, a lot of these out there, actually. Um, 
each in kind of their own pockets, each building their own independent narratives. It's actually a very cool community that a lot of times doesn't get the attention that I think it probably deserves or honestly could achieve uh, without some sort of exposure. So today, I wanted to start kind of looking into that world. I've been paying attention oh, to some awesome. of them. I've never actually done any sort of like deep dive, but each and every one of them seems to be filled with a lot of hidden lore, mysterious backstory, you know, uh, clues that can be pieced together to kind of come up with what's really going on here. Um, and I've always dabbled with the idea of like, I wonder if we could hop into this world or even more exciting, like I've, I've mentioned before that I really am interested these days in creating our own stories. Like I've thought like maybe we could partner with one of these creators who are doing one of these stories and, you know, together make this thing like really cool. Uh, so anyway, Long story short, today I wanted to introduce you guys to one of these that I've been following over the last couple months. Um, there's a couple others, and if you guys enjoy this sort of thing, we can go in and, and hop into those as well. Uh, but today I'm covering the work of Martin Walls, and specifically his series, The Walton Files. Uh, Did he, the, the creator, Mark Walls, I think that's what his name is. Did he name it Walton Files because of his last name? If so, that's pretty awesome. I guess that's like a good thing. If you're creating something, you get to name it whatever you want and you can name it after yourself. So I just want to point out that Dolphiny actually made it to the stream. Yay! So exciting. Hello, Glitch TV. Um, so as far as I understand it, again, like from a surface level, because I haven't gone in and watched We are watching Walton um, Files. But as far way. as I understand it, this is another one of well, those. Matt you find a, a, a creepy abandoned restaurant. There are, you know, some oddly similar characters to characters that you might have met before. But uh, it's a little bit darker. It's a little bit more sinister, uh, a little bit more foreboding. Uh, so that's it. I, I just want to watch this today alongside you guys. Let's react to it together. Let's get immersed in the creepiness and hey if you like this we can continue watching this series there's a lot of other ones out there another big one that i've been paying attention to over the last year is uh from the channel baddington uh and these guys are just doing incredible work that is you know and you get to see the artistry of their 3d animation skills Ooh, their, their photoshop the their editing like they're crafting these narratives that are just really creepy really disturbing uh and just give you a lot of nightmare fuel so are you ready for a scary story today friends Let's uh, let's experience this one together. I feel so, like I should have uh, up on the popcorn. channel. I pulled it up. This is oh, Martin Walls. Like I said, I'm not getting Ooh, nearly enough attention as he probably deserves, and, and you'll soon see why. Um, although some oh, of the videos already do look well. so creative. Uh, but yeah, I want to just react to this. So the story starts in Walton Files one, and you know we'll see how far we go. You know I tend to react in pretty long. Oh, Rose. Actually, some parts are really loud. May want to turn the volume down a small. Let's see. Okay. We'll do what we can here with what we got. On the form. So let's just hop into it, shall we? And of course, you start with the, the classic retro aesthetic. This bunny might look a little familiar to you. Wait. This is not. We're cutting MatPat off. It's not good. Can we zoom out? I wonder if that's better. Yeah, we'll just do that. Don't even hate Bon. Bonnie's burgers. Ooh, Delfani said these are really scary. Great. Guys, I hope Isn't I don't cry. Isn't this a fun, welcoming might... restaurant? Who wouldn't want this as their mascot? Very emotional. Oh, there are the subtitles. Hi, and welcome to oh, okay, I see, I see. Dude, how do we get this in screen? We have not had this problem before. Yeah, what the heck? This little technical difficulties here. I think that should be fine. It says the s subtitles are visible, at least from what I can tell. So let me know if you guys can see them or not to the introductory tape to your new job at Bunny Smiles Incorporated. You have applied to a job in technical support and maintenance. 
What does this job particularly mean? It's a great question. These are these are the important things. Amongst other employees, are the one who Oh, you got your classic 8-bit mini games? and fun experience for Bond's burger. That's an adorable sprite by the way. <laughs> I was going to pause it to talk about childhood jobs, but you know, this is a good place to pause. Yeah. Childhood fun for everyone. Who wouldn't want to come visit Bond's Burgers when you have characters like this? Um, Matt, did you ever have a job where you had a, a training tape like this, where you had to kind of suffer through the sort of like, welcome to, 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 to oh, yeah. your job? I love them Ugh. so much. They're amazing, they're right? They're so much fun to watch. It's so cheesy. They're so boring. I, I started working at a time where like they weren't corny anymore. Oh, no. So it was oh, like they were, they were really trying really hard. Did that, it just, it does that make them nice. extra cringe, though? If they're trying really hard but maybe failing in at a, it. In a way that oh, isn't that's sad. enjoyable. Oh, that's unfortunate, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's Did still you? your job. Oh, yeah. As a, So when I was uh, working as both a lifeguard and as a swim instructor, uh, the red... <laughs> that's a good question, Angel. So Angel's asking why, basically, we're not watching the original Walton Files. The answer is the... Like I said in the beginning, Mortem makes the list for the lives, the playlist, and that is the order we go in. So the way Mortem put them, the videos Mortem put into the live stream playlist were these, and they were not the original. So that is why we're watching these. <laughs> Noah says this sounds like a podcast. That's funny. Red Cross had a lot of these sorts of tapes, the, the classic training tapes but that were honestly, like Matt Pat 10, makes 20 me years outdated. With, you know, so I feel like I'm watching it with someone and, you know, else. Plug it into That's the good. VHS tape, even though no one was using VHS at the time. And all the over-the-top cheesy acting that you could hope for, like, hello, hello, are you okay? Are you okay? Please, please, someone, you, me, you, call 911, and then run off. And yeah, so absolutely. He's so, like, uh, animated and theatrical. near and dear to my heart right here. It's very, like, middle school health class. Yeah, yes, middle school health, like, health class in general is filled with this sort of stuff. So, anyway, let's, uh, here's, here's, uh, Bonnie Smiles. This is it. Bond's restaurant here. Oof. Family fun. Those eyes. Oh. got his hat on glad we've established that see this is creepy in the way that pinocchio is creepy to me. pinocchio the movie has always creeped me out yeah Look i never this. liked pinocchio like i think this is when the restaurant is fully operational see this is this is with the restaurant fully operational the creepiness hasn't even started yet and it's terrifying like you look at these models and you're like this is them fully repaired in their like pristine condition. Nobody wants this. Hit the eject button. Actually, you're walking like into the a restaurant. Right the animatronics now. look like this. Just walk right on out that door. <laughs> Just soulless eyes. It reminds Bonnie, me of like a very old school Disney Bonnie movie. Body looks like he's taking a bunch of Zeke's half asleep this entire time. Great. I'm, I'm, this is, I'm going to show this to Ollie later today. I think Ollie's going to really fall in love with these Oh, characters. thank you, Mortem. I didn't know who Mira meant was. I was just going to ignore those comments. Oh, still going. Here we go. I, yep. These are, these are kids' songs. They are a thing. <laughs> The pig goes, the pig goes, ah, as it's going into the slaughterhouse. Oh my God. Mm. These are the showstoppers. Bond, Shaw, Buzu, and Banny, a computer animated band made by BSI to entertain children. As a technician, you'll be given the role of a facility caretaker. Oh, there we go. It's not a security guard. I'm a facility caretaker. Around this fun Crucial and difference. journey, we'll work on certain tasks, such as cleaning protocol. Great. Robot maintenance and repair. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't tell. That might be the scary, spooky part of this. Robot maintenance and repair. 
Uh, but you can see already, right, how they're starting to build out a lore here, right? Mm -hmm. Where they're not going to tell us all the information. They're going to seed out clues. There's going to be a little bit of, of mystery attached to this. I, I love this, and I love this style of storytelling, and I love that there is a, a generation of, of creators and artists who are taking Scott's inspiration to kind of do this sort of thing and get their work out there, which yes. is awesome. How to use VSI technology. But first, here's a message from Jack Walton and Felix Kranken, our beloved founder. That's, these are both, <laughs> I love, I'm assuming this is photoshopped, right? Either that or both of them are missing their necks and I just feel so bad for them, right? That's photoshopped, right, Matt? You're the expert. Right? Like, because think about it. People have no necks. <laughs> they just don't exist. Necks are a lie. See, that's a future theory episode. Necks are a lie? Question mark, exclamation part, question mark. Yeah. Some people just don't have necks. Uh, apparently, these two found uh, business together. I think they're handsome. Over their shared lack of neck. <laughs> he said, I think they're handsome. Hey, I see that you don't have a neck the either. Hair. Shall we bond? Yeah, let's build a business together. Amazing. Which reads? In BSI, the most important thing to us isn't the money or the rating. The most important thing That's to right. us is that you have a wonderful experience while working with us. That's nice. That being said, with the Bond's Burgers restaurant... That being said, we do really care about money, weeks, though. We're looking forward to achieving this Thumbs dream. Thumbs up. Yay. Oh, jeez. Okay. St. Juana's Forest Private... Lo Ooh, the private location. I'm so a little confused oh my at what I'm watching. Okay, oh, now we're at the storage facility. Save or store secure. The BSI storage facility, also known as K9, is a company project to storage all to storage all valuable items from the closed for good Bonds Burgers restaurant. Okay, so now we're skipping ahead in time. Okay, so it seems like this, the Walton Files one, is a not just like one coherent narrative, but instead like bits and pieces from different parts of the restaurant's timeline. Right. So now Bonds Burgers is closed. Given the situation about incidents inside the 1974... Oh, man, they're even giving us a date, 1974. Not in the 1980s, oh, okay, friends. Uh, any type of props, animatronics, and arcade machines will be carefully moved, inspected, and secured inside a bunker located deep... I would have just ignored this if I was watching the original Walton Files without Matt Pat interjecting and explaining things. I would have just watched over this screen and continued on with the video. I see this is why it's good to have Matt Pat around. Deep down in St. Juana's Forest for Good, facility caretaker will take care of securing the facility and keeping it safe. Okay, so that's us. And that's what that training tape, well, I, that was a facility caretaker too, but that was while the restaurant was open. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. There's already like multiple locations. There's a sister location. There's an underground place. It's all important. See, these screens, you got to adjust the brightness on. <laughs> Great. I'm assuming it's reverse and slowed down, right? It's gotta be. Oh, here we go. Sunlight animation. Oh, bunny smiles. All right. So continuing the lore. Oh, little Bond's neighborhood. It's a cute little house. Sunlight animation. Little wonky. You know, this is this is on par with uh. Super you know, sleepover. Kids content these days, so. It's a brand new day in Little Bond's neighborhood, and a really special one for sure. <laughs> Little Bond has been waiting. This is just a, like, this is just a Coco scary. Melon video that I've seen like been three times for already. Friends to arrive. He is planning to have a sleepover with them. He has everything set up for the perfect movie night with his friends. Oh, that's nice. Movie night with friends. For this sleepover, he invited Shah, Boo and Billy. Let's check again oh, in case clown. you don't forget any guests. Man, there's Bond there's your creepy puppet. Bozoo and... <laughs> oh God, sorry. It no. looks like Snape oh, from Harry Potter. I didn't see that one coming. That was creepy. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. That must be them. <gasps> oh. Now that everyone has arrived, I suppose it's time for the movie <laughs> night to begin. He's invited Shaw, Boozu, and Charles Manson. <laughs> God. All right, bye, silly me. Thanks for joining. Yeah. The son of Sam. Oh, great. Bond Sounds like it's going to be a great sleepover, a everyone. Really funny movie, which he you know, I feel like I went into Blockbuster one time and I walked out with a movie that looked like this. <laughs> Just go into the back room. You're like, ah, oh, this looks good. Let's bring it home. That'll be fun. Movie. 
I guess we can say they had a blast of a time. Oh, let me out of here. So, hmm. Oh, there we go. So it begins. The night drop, they all ate say, come again. Oh, God. They're all asleep. This isn't good. Who are we going to see? So we are doing oh, a sleepover awake. right now. I, 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 I would also stay awake after watching that movie. Oh, the eyes burn into my soul. Peekaboo! <laughs> Weird noises coming out of the kitchen. Oh, maybe it's just, boy. Maybe it's just Boozoo getting a, a night snack. Charles Manson, you know, digging around in the cabinets. <laughs> oh, God. So is this part of the training tape? Oof. 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 Nope. 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 Do not want. Do not want. X. Don't you, don't you dare. Oh, a lighter. I like that it contextualized what it is. Oh, that's cool. God, it's going to appear in the darkness. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. no. No. See, it's, that's the thing, man. It's these creepy 70s and like early 80s aesthetics that are so terrifying because it's the early days of, vi of, of video and and it's so terrifying because the quality of everything is garbage and the audio quality <laughs> is garbage and so things that shouldn't even be scary are horrific it's funny because you're like oh it's just really a pixelated bad animation mess. makes it you're like oh this is more so icky i hate it so much that is why to this day um the texas chainsaw massacre is like one of the scariest movies to me not because they show a whole lot but because of how raw and gross and nasty the filming feels because it's just early days of video Watch and it, it adds that layer of creepiness to it that these sorts of old VHS tapes have and that modern movies just don't have because they're so polished and clean yeah. looking. Oh, it's a very good point. Creeps me out. What do you think, Matt? Yeah, it's very Blair Witch. Yeah, same. Yeah. That's actually oh, why Blair I like Blair Witch, Witch yeah. a lot. Uh, is because the same thing. Like, like scary looking in Blair Witch. No, but the whole just like concept behind it and the way that it's shot is just like so unsettling yeah i mean and, and that's honestly like and i this story seems to get it and i wish more stories understood this right is that and i've talked about this i believe on on gt live in the He's past making but very good points. if you are a horror creator one of the scariest things that you can do is is break the narrative flow or break what it means to actually tell like a logical story because there is a there is a safety and a, a security in a three-act structure beginning middle end and so that idea of mixing that up mm -hmm. or chopping in interesting things that you don't know where they fit in or or why like that rawness that it's kind of student film-esque aesthetic and mentality is actually really creepy and unsettling because now all of a sudden the audience is off balance because you don't know what's coming and when it's coming and it's it yields some of the scariest results there's this um a uh, horror movie that didn't really get a lot of attention but a uh, yellow brick road which kind of does that and has that sort of rawness and scenes take a little bit too long and you're like oh this feels kind of amateurish but that allows the like scary moments to punch in and feel that much scarier blair witch does the same thing where it's like stuff takes too long and it feels a bit over you know under edited over edited like but it's mm. and it, the camera work is all a mess but that just adds to the scare factor because you don't know what's coming and when it's broken that like way of telling a narrative and it's awesome so i appreciate this this is a great this is great <laughs> see like here okay so so what's our clue here sophie the night guard is being attacked by evil bonnie and whatever th there's also something here in the back it looks like but okay, so we're already starting to get our clue as to what's going on. This is cool, C cutting in real footage. So, get the brand new caretaker first. I like feel like something's gonna jump out and. I'm, uh, recording this. this is also reminiscent of. Um, what is oh, it? Oh, hey, uh, Wolf. 
Channel Thanks 55 for saying that, she, uh, that we covered it on on Film Theory a, little, a while ago, but I forget what it was. The the like independent news station, which has the first video going down like an abandoned road like this. True story, when I was in college, uh, I got lost and went down an abandoned road like this. It was the scariest thing because I had no way to turn around. I was very clearly going off the beaten rat road. Again, I had no access to like Google Maps or anything. I was just lost. I'm like, oh, I'm so dead in the woods. But I love the fact <laughs> that we're actually mixing in raw feeling real world stuff. This is cool. Driving for 20 minutes, and you don't can't find the place. Oh my god, that's terrifying. I made it to the location. I think. Oh, creepy. What? Is so creepy. Okay, here's the story's location. Anyway, so Chris told me this place had been working since about 78, 79. And that was four years ago. Okay, so they're starting to give us the sense so of the timeline. So it's going to smell horrendous. Cut. You'll have to figure out what happened. Ooh, hey. So, uh, no. Get out of there. Don't you do it. Obviously, it's Withered Bond, guys. Canon name, Withered Bond. The diagnosis control, get out of here. You don't do that. <laughs> don't touch it, you idiot. See this? You're just asking to die. Yeah, you're starting with the head, huh? All right. Oh, yeah, look at that. Is that, is that blood? Is that a large red bib? You know, fun fact, it looks like blood, but don't be confused. It's actually just a large frilly bib or a lot of spilled pieces. Oh, I thought it was just like eat, a you know? tear in the suit or something. Let's, um, Here we go. Yeah, it seems to be working. So they're making sure it's working. Yes, I don't know. <laughs> okay, that jump scare may be a little bit goofy. Oh, okay, that's creepy then. All right, all right, you got me. Oh, that's so gross. Oh, I hate ah! oh. <laughs> oh, it's so gross. Oh, it's so terrifying. Okay. What was that thing? You're walking very casually through the woods for someone who's like, what was that thing? I'd be looking every direction, <sighs> yes, shaking. This great. This is a wild ride. And it's a, <gasps> oh jeez, <I, laughs> oh God. I didn't even expect that. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm still recovering my voice. Um, but, but again, jump scares that you don't expect to happen. Like there, I'm like, okay, that was the jump scare. Ooh, spooky close up of the animatronic. No, the jump scare came afterward, and then there was another layer on top of that with the bleeding eyes. Great! That, see, it that's you it, because you guard. were playing with my expectation. My expectation was like, that was it, but then it was like, yeah. oh no, there's another reveal, and then another reveal on top of that. Great! It took me off guard, I didn't expect it, and thereby made it that much scarier. Awesome. Mm -hmm. yeah, that was good. <laughs> Dude, it's so weird. Oh yeah! Cool. Definitely catches Great. your attention. So good. Like, makes you wonder what the heck is going on. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can. You may steal my soul now. Oh. Is that Sophie? Is that Sophie, our, our guard? Purple girl! I can't feel anything. He thought I was her. Hmm. So that's the skin suit? Oh. Hello, my name is Brian Stells, facility caretaker. I look a little bit like a Meverse character. <laughs> he does look like he should be walking around like the Wii shop. So, okay, so we got Brian, we got Susie, Sophie, Sophie. All right, Martin Walls, there we go. So is that the first video? Voice acting, Brian Stells. Yeah, kind of. And they're the voice 
was achieved via TTS. There you go. Yeah, text to speech. Cool. Okay. So there you go. That's Walton Files 1. Uh, but as you can see, there's a bunch of other, you know. Very, like, there's a tame video. I was expecting a little more, but I guess, of course, they have to introduce everyone and all the details they want. So it was very tame. Um, creepy and like the jump scares are very flat just drawings looks like and some qu quirky details of like the jump scare with the blood I guess coming from the the eyes so yeah I, I like it so far very interesting. So I wonder what Matt they just released, says. He just released uh, Walton Files three a month ago. So, so you can already see how it's setting up the story, right? You got, you got security guard or caretaker number one. Seems like who might have been Sophie, who got attacked the first time, was made into a skin suit. We have you know a Walton himself, who's gone missing and kind of asking to be you know found. Uh, a lot of creepy stuff there. Uh, let's hop into the teaser. Just to see what the teaser has in store for us. Oh, they're going to be watching teaser. Okay. Oh, rocket. So is this the teaser for like the whole series? This is what they put out before they put out the Walton Files. See, this is my jam. This is why I write scripts too. I just put this on repeat. Bonds Burgers. It's not it's a like pizza Bob's restaurant Burgers anymore. Too. I didn't even notice that before. Oh, this is a teaser. Okay, so this is what we just saw. But you gotta, you gotta be careful, because even the teasers a lot of times will, will have more stuff. So don't take it for granted, see, because we didn't see this last time. So now all of them are evil. Cool. Oh, a man, I'm going to have to go frame there. by frame through this. If I ever do a theory on this, I'm going to have to go frame by frame through all that. Mountain Files 2 is coming. Relocate Project. Stay tuned. Okay. There's still 20 seconds left in this, so I'm curious. Is this the end card? This is just the end card, right? Thank you. You're it's you're welcome. Cute little for supporting Walton Files. Yep. Character. Like I said, here's the thing. I I love that a community exists around this, and so oh there there you go. Mm -hmm. Bond is alive again. There's that. Excuse me. What? Character again. Sad old man. I feel what? attacked. Bon. Bon. You don't say that stuff to a person. I know. I know. I'm having some back issues today, and I know that I'm recovering from an illness where I lost my voice. But, geez, call me sad old man. I feel that sucks to lose your voice in a job where you are always talking. <laughs> that sucks. They called out. Oh, yes, definitely sad old man. Right? Right? Sounds sad, sad old man. Sad old man. Okay, great. Cool. Well, thanks a lot for that one, guys. Really appreciate it. Here, uh, this one's another 17 minutes, so I might save this one for a follow-up to this episode, but let's watch Let's watch some of the shorter ones. <laughs> shorter ones? Ooh, Bunny, Bunny Smiles Games. Games. Okay. presents a revolutionary game in the arcade industry, perfect oh. for every kid and adult alike. Frogger. Today, Bunny Smiles Inc. takes another step into the future with oh, we... Bunny Farm. Yes! Oh, 1982. That's right. Play your favorite characters in a fun and exciting adventure. Solve puzzles, enjoy parties, and most importantly, have fun. Great. That's Bunny all Farm that matters. It's the most futuristic arcade game with state-of-the-art technology and features such as... <laughs> Futures. Advanced graphics. Yes, advanced graphics. Oh, that's that was huge. And Wait, you, hold up. Okay, you had me. Haunted animatronics that murder people and come to life decades after they're they're disused. You had me. Fine. I I was buying in. You know, creepy animatronic sleepover where Charles Manson appears on the TV and, and threatens <laughs> to kill you when a lighter lights up. Sure, great. All aboard. Human skin suit, puked up on the ground, mistaken puked for someone else, and ground. still crying out in pain decades wow. later. Yeah, great. Totally buy in. Don't you dare tell me an arcade game has a save file, though. You've lost me. You've, you've shattered. You've shattered my immersion in this, because that's impossible. 
you're you're not saving an arcade game. Get out of much here. More. Bunny Farm is the ideal game for everyone, and soon a Bunny Farm machine could be your nearest the arcade. ideal game Bunny for Farm, everyone. Coming soon at local arcades in Brighton. Brighton, okay. The, um... Oh, where was I clicking? Um, if we go back... Can I go back just a little bit? Even an arcade game. Get out of much here. More. Bunny Farm is the ideal game for everyone, and soon a Bunny Farm machine could be your nearest the arcade. The ideal game Bunny for Farm for Coming soon... Like, if you look at Bunny Farm, it's so interesting how the letters are just scrambled together. And the NN is just together. And it's not really readable. And the awkward space between the F and A in the farm, it looks like it's just bunny, f you know, it's part of the bunny word. It's just interesting. I wonder why they did that. Come and play with us. It'll be lots of fun, 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 with featuring Bunny Farm. Oh yeah. I wonder if we can play this game. I wonder if they actually made a game. Or if they're just animating the sprites. Because either way, it would be super cool. You're welcome for supporting the Molten Files. You know something's coming. There's always something at the end. It's like creepy Marvel teasers. Bunny Farm. Yes. Okay. I've been trying to contact you. Excuse me, what? This is a <laughs> I love, I, I love the low-key voices that just appear at the end of these things, and you're like, hold on, sorry, let me let me get out that like earphone that allows me to hear what you're actually saying. I've been trying to contact you. I've been what? trained to what? <laughs> what do you think it is, Matt? I've been trying to contact you. Oh, you've been trying to contact me. Yeah. I've been trying to contact you. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, I've been trying to contact yeah. you. Well, there you go. You All know, right. when they say Good. it, Good then times. I hear well, here it. I am. It was just here. mumble Listening. jumble I don't know. To me. Do I need to reply in the comments? Is that what it is? Reply to this sinister voice at the end of this video in the comments below. Let me know. Uh, okay, uh, there's a lot of other uh, long There's like so here, much so. that oh, we watched ooh, in this video. Anniversary. I was just uh, okay. expecting the first one. So there you have it. Um, like I said, I haven't done a theory on these just because... One, I, I, I'm not 100% sure where I'd put it. I guess it would be film theories? Because they're not games, but they are attached to, like, Five Nights at Freddy's style stuff, which makes it feel like it would be game theory. Yeah, but as you can tell, right, there's a lot of, like, seated backstory in here. And it, who knows how deep the rabbit hole go, goes. Like, maybe as we watch these, we'll learn that, like, wow, they made a video game. Or, wow, there's a separate website that becomes kind of like this ARG clue-setting experience. Um... I would love to continue reacting to these, talking about the lore, you know, maybe one day building out a, a theory about this. But let me know. Let me know your thoughts. Because, uh, like I said, this is something. Well, everyone this, must have liked it because uh, there's, there's a bunch one more, other, one so. other, or two other ones that I just every once in a while will check in. And on this to see only what came doing. out last year. On the off chance that I'm like, May maybe we do it. I, I'm always on the kind of like custom. So like, should we really do a theory new. about these? These are really cool. At and least I these love reactions being able to cover smaller channels that are doing um so actually we may just skip this ending